Marina Sabalenka versus Madison Keys is the second semi-final for the Ladies US Open for 2023. And both have been really impressive to get to this stage. Keys started the tournament as the number 17 seed and will take on Ruse in the first round. But this is no problem getting through in straights, 6-2, 6-4. In the second round, she take on the lucky loser, Wickmire. And again, this was no problem getting through in straights, 6-1, 6-2. In the third round, she take on the 14th seed, Samson Over, who had been having a very good season on the hard courts. But after losing the first set, it was all keys, getting through in straights, 5-7, 6-2, 6-2. In the fourth round, she take on the number three seed, Pagula, who she'd lost to in their only meeting. But this time, it was all keys, demolishing Pagula in straights, 6-1, 6-3, to advance to another quarterfinal of the US Open. In the quarterfinals, Keyes would take on the Wimbledon champion and number nine seed Von Drusova, who had battled to get to the quarterfinals, but Keyes was too strong. Getting through in straights, 6-1, 6-4, to advance to the semi-final. Sabalenka entered the tournament as the number two seed and would take on Zanevska in the first round. But this was an easy win, getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-2. In the second round, she'd take on Burridge. And again, an easy win, getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-2. In the third round, she'd take on Burrell, who had just taken out Pliska in the previous round. And again, Sabalenka destroys her, 6-1, 6-1. In the fourth round, she'd take on Kazakina, the 13th seed. And again, Sabalenka on fire, destroying her in straights, sets 6-1-6-3 to advance to another quarterfinal at the US Open. In the quarterfinals, Sabalenka would take on Zhang, the 23rd seed, who had just taken out Ons Jabeur in the previous round. And after an easy first set, Sabalenka would wrap it up in straights 6-1-6-4 to advance to the semifinals. These two have played three times before with Sabalenka leading the head-to-head 2-1, including a win a couple of months ago at Wimbledon in the quarterfinals where she won in straight sets. But the only time they've ever played on a hard court was actually five years ago in Cincinnati. Sabalenka got the win then, but it's been too long to call that one relevant. If Keys is going to win this one, she's going to have to be strong on the baseline, aggressive with that forehand, and serve big. These players are exactly the same player, so she's going to have to get the baseline first and move Sabalenka around, which is something Zhang did a little bit in the second set of her quarterfinal. If Sabalenka's going to win this one, she needs to do exactly what Keys has to do. Take the baseline, hit big forehands, maybe even come to the net. She has been doing a lot of drop shots recently, which I love to see, because she's not all about just the power. She can mix it up and take people by surprise. Of course, the serve is also massive for her. I'm expecting a lot of aces and a lot of big serving in this one. A lot of big forehand winners as well. This is an explosive semi-final. I've got to go with Sabalenka in three. I know she has a semi-final curse, but I feel like against Keys in a big moment like this, Sabalenka's going to get the win. In a third set, though, I think it's going to be very close. But let me know, let me know down in the comments below who's making the US Open final.